what's up YouTube Jeremiah Hersey here welcome back to the next PL 300 test prep question today we're going to be looking at a question relating to publishing a report and a data set out into the Power BI service now when you publish a report into the Power BI service it actually separates the report that you publish into two pieces the first one is a actual report that contains all of the visualizations and all of the slicers and everything like that. The second piece is the actual data set that holds the data for the report. So when you publish to a workspace, it's gonna isolate the data set from the report. And the purpose of this is so that other users within inside the workspace can then build additional reports off of that data set. And so as we look at this question, just having an understanding of how we're going to publish this report into the workspace and the connection modes that we've already talked about import versus direct query and understanding that an imported data set is going to be static inside the report and so in order to update that you're going to need to set up a data gateway in order to refresh that static data and direct query is essentially a live connection to your data that's going to refresh automatically and so as we look at this test prep question just keep those things in your mind let's go ahead and take a look our question says that you have two Microsoft Excel workbooks in a OneDrive folder. Each workbook contains a table named Sales. The tables have the same data structure in both workbooks. You plan to use Power BI to combine both sales tables into a single table and create visuals based on the data in the tables. The solution must ensure that you can publish a separate report and a data set. Which storage mode should you use for the report file? in the data set file. So as we think about how Power BI service works, we know that as we publish a report into the Power BI service in a workspace, it's going to separate the report from the data set. And so the report is going to contain all of the visualizations, the charts, the graphs, the slicers, everything like that. The data set is going to be separate. It's going to house all of the data that's within inside of that particular report. And so as we think about how we would set up the storage mode, I wanna make a preference of this question that I think it's worded a little bit confusing because it already separates the report and the data set when we publish into the service. So what I'm thinking is that it wants us to publish two separate data sets. So one data set connected to the report and then a separate data set that's going to allow other users to connect directly into it. And that's just the way that I'm reading the question. I'm not saying that that's correct, but that's the assumption that I got because we know that it already separates the report and the data set. So this piece right here where it says you want to make sure that you can publish a separate report and data set. I'm assuming that they're talking about publishing two separate data sets, one connected to the report and then an additional data set that's going to allow other users to build reports off of that data set. So let's take a look at the storage modes that they have available down here at the bottom. So the first one is direct query. We know that's an option and import. That's definitely an option as well. The other two, a live connect and a push storage modes. Well, these aren't storage modes available with inside of Power BI. So we know we have direct query, we know we have import, and there's also that dual storage mode as well. So as we think about the report file and the data set file, how are we going to choose a storage mode? So when you import data, it essentially means that the data is loaded into the Power BI desktop. And when you import these Excel files into the desktop, it's going to give you the ability to create visuals in your report based on that imported data. And so even if we're not connected to OneDrive, we're gonna be able to create those visualizations because it's static. It's loaded into that Power BI desktop file. And so, with the assumption that we want to publish 
two separate data sets, one connected to the report and then an additional data set that's going to allow other users to build reports. That's the idea that I'm going off of here. And so for the report file, I would choose this to be an import simply because if we choose an import this means even if we're not connected to OneDrive we're still going to be able to build visualizations off of that imported data set because it's loaded with inside of the Power BI desktop. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.